Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seed. Werner Tobin on the Corn School today, joined by Dale Cowan, uh, Agris uh, Cooperative Agronomist. Dale, how's it going? Well, it's going quite well. You know, a little isolation, a little cold weather, a little, little different spring than in the past. Oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. And it's cold. And uh, as you said, um, and, you know, now we're going to get some rain, hopefully warm up. But uh, we've got a lot of corn in the ground, and I expect a lot of growers will be looking at emergence in the days ahead as w- when they can get back out in those fields. Um, you know, what do you expect they're going to see? Well, I expect uh, anything we've dug up so far, you know, we, we're finding that cold and dry is much better than cold and wet. So as long as the soils aren't saturated, the seeds are in pretty good shape. They got about a half inch sprout on them, a pretty deep root system. And you're looking for that nice white uh, mesocotyl color and you want the seeds to be firm and a uh, nice white root system and not a lot of seed rot. So those are the things that you're going to look for and they'll just need some warmth uh, to bring them on. Let's talk about that warmth. Um, a lot of people talking about how many heat units you need to get that ground, that, that corn emerge, get it out of the ground. You know, what do we need and where do we sit right now? Well, we need, uh, I'll say approximately, it's a range between 160 and 165, but let, let, let's, let's say the 165 to 170 for this year. Uh, guys planted a little deeper, so we might be closer to 175 uh, crop heat units accumulated from planting date before we see anything poking through the ground. Hmm. And where are we at now? We are sitting about, uh, in the London area, about 117. And just to give you an idea how cold it is, in the last six days, we've only accumulated 18, and three of those days was zero accumulation. So that just shows you how slow things are crawling along. So April 24th, planted corn, by my growth model, is not projected to emerge until around the 20th to 22nd of May. Wow. Now, the lucky part of this is obviously a lot of this ground is fit. It's been really good, dry, uh, worked up really well. Obviously, that's going to help us out. I think so. Uh, when you don't have saturated soil conditions, you don't have the seed rot organisms uh, working away on the seed. So that's been the plus. Uh, dry soils tend to warm up quickly, but also they cool down quickly. We've had some nights here at minus six and minus seven. So moisture in the soil is a nice uh, a, a heat sink. It takes a while for it to warm up. It also holds heat. So the, the curse of the dry soils is they're nice to work but they are subject to a lot of uh, temperature swings, which has prompted the guys to plant a little deeper this year, which means we're probably going to take a few more days for it to come out of the ground. Right. So I, I'm out uh, digging up some seed uh, tomorrow or the next day when everything's dried up. You know, what do I want to see and when or when should I be worried? Well, I think you want to take the time, bring tape measure and measure out your one one thousandth of an acre. And if you're in 30 inch rows, that's uh, 17 feet, five inches and uh, 34,000 plants. You're looking for a seed every six inches. And I think it's worthwhile digging up to see that you can find them because if there's a missing or a gap. You want to know if that was a planter miss or the, if the seeds uh, got some chilling injury or starting to rot. So you want to see good, firm seeds, nice white uh, mesocotyls, nice white root system, and you want to see all the seeds there all sprouted at the same time. Mm. Yeah, uh, you want to see healthy seeds, and we've got some heat on the way. Dale, um, thanks for stopping by. As I say, hopefully next time uh, we chat, we might be in the field, and the sun will be shining. I hope so. Looking forward to it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.